All right, we're live. Hello, everyone. I don't get the complaints about the Grim Terminus Alliance games. So what if you? I just realised I wasn't slaves. using my headphones. So there we go. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone's had a fantastic weekend so far. I apologise about yesterday. Wasn't really feeling up to streaming, so I decided to cancel. But today I'm feeling a lot better, so I think everything should be okay. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started with Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. So last time we played, I think I went around and spoke to everyone. I was looking for Emily Wong, I think her name was, from Mass Effect 1, since she sent an email. But it doesn't seem like she's anywhere in here, so I'm just going to go back to the Normandy and do some side quests and recruit some more peeps and do the character stories as well so last time as well I also just did that other girl's one I don't remember what her name was but who I do remember is AFK here coming in with an are you okay wave I see you're making use of that emote Welcome, welcome. How's your weekend, mid man? Alright, I gotta go and find where I'm supposed to go. I actually don't remember the directions here. I th think. It should be somewhere here. Is it? Okay, I think, yeah, it's out this way. This is CSEC. Yup, yup, so it's over here. This one's locked, it looks like. Interrogation room. Maybe there's going to be a use for that at some point. Did you manage to fix up your uh, rebooting Sorry, issues, AFK? Okay? Those core issues? to figure out how to separate my VOD track from my... Uh, separate my background music in my VOD so it doesn't show up. Access the research terminal for some new training, I guess. Let's have a look. Some prototypes over here. Retrain powers. Advanced training allows Shepard to reallocate points. Okay, I've done that one. Through intensive training, Shepard can learn to use a single bonus power. Obtaining more loyal squad members increase the number of powers available for Shepard. Shepard can compete, uh, complete this research project multiple times. Each time the project is completed, Shepard selects a new bonus power and any points already spent transfer to the newly selected bonus power. Ah, uh, okay. It's for the um, specialization. So, for this here, Infiltrator. I'm an agent. Alright, let's head to the first mission, I guess. So we're going to journal and stop the collectors is one big one. I guess I'll do Zaid's one. So travel to Zoya via Isma Frontier and land near the Eldfell Ashland refinery. So Isma Frontier. Let's not dock there again. Uh, oh, here you go, mass relay. Is my frontier? There we go. Uh, 
you up to much for tonight, AFK? Let's shoot some probes. Uh, Polino, a relatively small hydrogen helium gas planet, Polino remains undeveloped while its sister planet, Metaponto, garners all the attention. This was not always the case. In 2180, news stories seeded throughout the extended uh, extranet claimed that Element Zero was being found on Polino's moons in record loads. This turned out to be a scam spread by the Duna Wurachum. Duna Wurachum. Okay. Consortium, an Elcor corporation trying to scare up investors. After a small fleet of space probes scouted the area, the hype quickly deflated, and the myth only persists now in unwanted extranet email messages. Alright, hopefully I find some platinum. It's for scanner results, that's always, always what we want to see. It's poor like me. Oh, there we go. Platinum. Launching probe. Looks like the system might have a decent amount of platinum, which is good. I am sorely needing platinum. Also, since um, Deus, uh, Damon X Machina is gonna be free on game pass i might actually play that on stream at some point so yeah i've been like itching for a new armored core game so i got that on switch but it played like crap so i didn't really play that too much looks fun though all right let's leave this alone it's uh it's a bit sucked dry Even I got scammed from the Chura Chura Foundation or whatever they're called. Metaponto, a hydrogen helium gas planet, Metaponto has developed a helium-3 fueling station funded by Elko business interests who hope to bring enough attention to the system to attract terraforming investors and thus eventually develop Volturno as a habitable world. Thus far, they have met with little success. This place is also poor. Probe launched. My throat is a little bit scratchy, so you have to excuse me. I'm just going to like pause every so often. So I apologize for like the dis disjointed commentary. Launching probe. Ooh, there we go, some platinum. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. And some iridium, not what I wanted. This just reminds me of Galactic Battleship. What's that? What do you mean like Battleship, the uh, the tabletop game? Like Battleships. Probe away. The tabletop game, yeah. I don't know why there's a grid though, to be honest, because... Yeah, yeah there's not really any coordinates. Let's refuel just in case. Oh, we're full. Okay, let's go to Unexplored. Vecchio. Vecchio is a moderately sized terrestrial world with a thin, hot atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Initial surveys found trace amounts of iridium, but little else of interest in the silicate desert sands that cover much of the surface of the planet. On a recent tour, the Alliance Sur Surveyor Ship Coop discovered a group of partial graves hidden in the equatorial mountain ranges. The ancient skeletons in the burial sites are obviously humanoid, but complete, but incomplete and poorly preserved, which has made them difficult to identify. 
fragments of primitive ceramic grave goods were also found nearby. This raises further questions about who once travelled to this inhospitable planet since the clo closest garden world, Volturno, has no intelligent life. Human universities are planning further archaeological investigations. That's pretty interesting. Orbital distance is 1.1 astronomical units. Orbital period is 1.2 Earth years. Radius is 6,443. Day length is 39.1 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure is 0 0.79 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature is 58 degrees Celsius. And surface gravity is 0 0.82 G. Actually rich? Whoa, get a load of that. That's pretty good. Yes, exactly what I wanted. Launching probe. Probe launched. I apologize, this must not be very compelling to be honest. <laughs> Riveting probe gameplay. Launched. I'm sure you guys are at the edge of your seats. More iridium. I wonder if the cap's at like 10k. Oh, there we go. Just looking up guitar parts while watching you. Okay. Nice. What kind of parts are you looking at? And also, how addictive is um, looking at guitar parts? Or just looking at parts in general. Lately, I've been looking at like mini ITX, small form factor, like sub 5 liter cases. And I've already made like a streaming PC build. So I'm going to get like a 4K capture card and everything. A PCIe one, so lagless pass through. Actually looking at, at tuner that will quicken up string changes and electric tuner, like the winding ones. Oh nice, yeah that would be very useful. Just go straight through the sun. Lapini, a hydrogen methane gas giant, Lapini and its moons have been cursorly, cursorily scanned by space probes and found to have little in the way of rare re resources. The galaxy at large considers it unremarkable. That is quite sad. Would you recommend buying a toolkit? Uh, like what kind of toolkit? For like, specifically for guitar? Yeah, guitar called toolkit. Uh, I mean, if you're going to be using everything a lot, then yeah, I'd recommend it. If you're not going to be using it a lot, then I don't recommend it. Because it's just extra space you'll be taking up. But, like, that's just how I feel anyway. <laughs> exactly, how often do you plan on breaking things? And also, welcome, Sadia. 
It's been uh, quite a while. How have you been, man? I'm just shooting probes into this poor Probe gas away. giant. How has the perfect ITX case hunt been going, by the way? Really good. I've found, like, the perfect one, pretty much. If I decide to make it into, like, a tiny gaming PC, then it can do that. Because it can hold a double slot uh, graphics card. So it's the A39 from AliExpress. The thing's, like, what, 22 centimeters tall? And it's, like, 10 by... 18 centimeters or something. <laughs> good, it's 6:21 a.m. right now, so day's just beginning. Nice. Well, good morning, man. I hope the uh, I hope the day treats you well. That would have been an unfortunate slip up. Volturno. It's so called. Super Earth Volturno is a is home to organic life, but is nevertheless uninhabitable for for the near future. Lovely. Currently in an ice age, most of the planet. Oh, okay. Most of the planet from the latitude of 30 degrees north or south is a frozen wasteland, and so most organic life, limited to algae and lichens, 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 lichens. I'll say lichens. Resides resides near the equator I almost read that as equator the strong gravity present, <laughs> prevents any sapient species from El Elcor from but Elcor from thriving on the planet I'm really good at reading today and the Elcor cannot breathe the planet's atmosphere which contains lethal amounts of carbon dioxide in addition to its oxygen small packs of Vorcha squatters are attempting to take the planet for themselves illegally Oh my god, planet squatters. But most of them live miserable existences in the planet's crushing gravity and die from falls and medical complications. Okay then, that, they don't sound very bright. Only terraforming on a massive scale will turn Volturno into a habitable world and the Elcor lack the political capital with the Citadel Council to begin such an effort. Total distance is 2.1 AU, total periods 3.0 Earth years, radius is 11,117 kilometers, day length is 26.8 Earth hours, atmospheric pressure is 0 0.83 Earth, Earth atmospheres, surface temperature is negative 10 degrees Celsius, and surface gravity is 3.3 G, that is pretty high. I guess you just wait until it, the ice age ends or something? This one seems to be good. There we go. Probe launched. Ah, you got much on for the day, Sadia. Probe away. Probe away. I'm just gonna like fire a couple and then just leave. I don't find what I want. Oh, there we go. Speaking of finding what I want, there we go. Launching probe. Probe launched. Give me all the platinum. Ah, uh, do you have much on for the day, Sadia? Say, dear, do you have much on for the rest of the day? Launching probe. <laughs> that was terrible. And now I apologize for calling you, dear. Probe launched. Yes, give me all the platinum. Probe away. Probe. 
Ah, oh, raid in the evening and work during the day. Need to get back to P4 part 2. Nice. Hope that goes well, man. I need to get into Endwalker, to be honest. And tomorrow's Oceanic servers. Oh wait, no. Oceanic servers already open. Um, tomorrow they open up for World Transfer. So I'll be moving over there. Fun. Can finally double weave. Also, I use the say dear as an easy way to say my name sometimes. <laughs> yep. I think that's how I learned how to say your name. I remember asking you that. I wonder how my ping will be on the oceanic server compared to Japan. Yeah, I wonder as well. Hopefully it'll be better. From what I remember, yours was pretty much the same as mine, wasn't it? It was like 180 or something? Launching probe. Mine's like 190, 180, 190-ish. Yeah, around 160, 180. Damn. It's depleted. Got this probe sticking out of it. And I have explored everything. Let's buy some more probes. Alright, so over here we've got Help Zaid, so let's go over there. Hopefully we can make the trip back. Okay, it looks like here you don't really... Yeah. You don't really use fuel when you're going into orbit, which is nice. There's a tiny little planet there. It's our Pluto. With how troublesome everything is in FF14 outside of the game, is changing servers going to be a hassle? It shouldn't be. I think it should be fairly straightforward. I haven't tried done it myself, but yeah. Hito. While the ice mines of Viantel, Viantel, I'll just say Viantel, make a great deal of profit from ships passing through fire, fire's mass relay, the real money is made at Hito. As the only gas giant in the fire galaxy system, by a gateway system, Hito is heavily developed by rival Helium-3 mining concerns. The world has three major and 26 mi minor moons, each of which is claimed by a different company. Damn, that's a lot of companies. Those based on moons deeper into the gravity world tend to specialize on Helium-3 extraction and refining while those on the Father Moon specialize in refueling services and shipment. The local economy is driven by black marketeering, bl backroom deals, and cutthroat business. Each company attempts to sabotage its ri rival's facilities while protecting their own moon. This has led to open corporate warfare three times in the last century. All the major mercenary groups have offices in the Hito planetary system through the Blue Sun... Uh, though the Blue Suns enjoy a home team advantage, shipping in cheap logistical supplies from Zoria. Population 953,000. Capital none. Largest port is Shoal Prime. All distance is 6.3 astronomical units. Orbital period is 15.8 Earth years. Radius is 24,984 kilometers day length is 14.3 earth hours let me just have a sip of water real quick mouth is drying up a bit can't wait to see kai's house ky's house if he makes it in time yeah server transfer isn't bad it might be slow because of the amount of people doing it though ah oh, yeah fair enough yeah it's gonna be a bit of an issue 
Maybe I'll wait a bit. Oh no, I'll, I'll try to buy into the hype. Or get into the hype. Enjoy the rest of Endwalker lag free. And then my net goes down tomorrow. I'm going on a drive and like to a couple of places tomorrow because it's a public holiday. But man, it said it was going to be like raining tomorrow, but it's also like 36 or 38 degrees Celsius tomorrow during the day. So it's going to be raining and very hot. So yeah, fun, fun, fun. The Endwalk Offender made it into Thailand since we're in the topic. Nice. That's pretty cool. Through like a proxy service or something. Also, it's very windy outside. 6.5k though. That sounds about right, about right to be honest. Dude, Les Paul is like 5 grand. Last time I checked anyway. Haven't looked at them recently, but they're expensive. In music, the brand pretty much drives... Um, the brand pretty much uh, drives the prices. Hot and rainy sounds like my week. Okay. Though a dwarf planet, uh, Viantel's large amount of amounts of water have led to heavy development by water cracking industries seeking to turn the planet into hydrogen oxygen fuel for starship thrusters. The surface is blanketed with habitual mo modules, mining equipment, and cracking stations. Since the initial sediment of ilium in the nearby Tazale system, the radius of Viantel has decreased by two kilometers. Indicating removal of over 72,000 cubic kilometers of ice. Some groups are concerned that the rate of loss may cause instability in the remaining structure. Population 10,400, capital none. Largest port is Kilios Station 0. Oh, Kilios Station 4. Orbital distance is 3.0 AU. Orbital period is 5.2 Earth years. Radius is 1,381 kilometers. Day length is 28.4 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure, trace. Surface temperature is negative 150 degrees Celsius. Surface gravity is 0.11 G. Do this. Look like there. Away. I still can't believe the price you pay for a Gibson just for it to come in a gig bag. Oh, you're paying for the name, man. It'll be a Gibson branded gig, ba uh, gig bag too, so. You be. Got a crap ton of platinum. Have you played much guitar, by the way? Uh, yeah, I've been just putting in practice like like four times a week. Just very short practice sessions, nothing like too big, but like yeah, they're all timed and fairly focused, I guess. And I'm trying not to like. I'm trying to play in the dark too, so I don't have to look at the fretboard too much. Away. Found this video for one to help with my pinky if you're interested. Uh, yeah, sure. I do like, um, I do stretches for each finger, like, before I play as well, but, um, yeah, chuck it. In the music? 
uh, section on my Discord, I guess. If you can, would be much appreciated. Well, I didn't find it. My teacher sent it to me. Okay. How's this? How was the uh, lesson, by the way? It's a lot nicer having someone teach you in person, right? Launching a probe. Probe launched. So I'll probably end this stream in like an hour. It was a bit late, but yeah. I want to do like two hours for both uh, games and drawing on Tuesdays. But yeah, I'll end this one at 11.30 and go into a drawing stream. Where I'll just be continuing the sketches for the weapons. Uh, the second weapon, I've already done one of them. I actually don't remember doing that, to be honest, but... It's, uh, it's done. Launching probe. Lesson started off shaky when he started playing the song I asked, and saying this is what we'll learn. Okay. That's a tiny, tiny little planet. It's so cute, look at it. Imane is a small cratered rock. Its crust contains various light metals, though none in any concentration worth the trouble of mining. While the rest of the fire system has seen extensive industrialization, Imane lies fallow. Orbital distance is 0.6 AU, orbital period is 0.8 Earth years, radius is 2,370 kilometers, day length is 62.1 Earth hours, atmospheric pressure is trace, surface temperature 108 degrees Celsius, and surface gravity 0.24 G. Just start off slapping into shredding into finger taps and then said it's my turn. Wow. How did that go? Probe launched. Probe away. After I couldn't get past the slapping, he then realized I wanted to learn from the very beginning. Okay. Well, at least it came at some point. Probe launched. That'll be your goal, though. Probe launched. And it's kind of hard to find anything here. Probe away. Probe launched. How much better is Mass Effect 2 compared to Mass Effect 1 playability wise though? It is a lot better. I'm not going to say it's like the perfect game, but... It's a lot better than one at the very least. That said, one wasn't that unplayable to be honest. I didn't think it was that bad. It did feel jank. But yeah, two is a lot more polished. I'm hoping three is even more polished. RE5 and PC, now that was jank. Yeah, you've got to install like some third party thing. Which the website got removed now, so no more fix. <laughs> oh, 
I did manage to play a decent chunk of RE5 though with um with a friend, so yeah. Waiting for day re reunite on another RE game. I'm not sure if they're gonna be making another like co-op one anytime soon, I don't like yeah. Seeing how like badly they did. Which is unfortunate, because I thought they were a lot of fun. Alright, that's it. I think. Now all we've got is Zoria. Mud, sweat, and spores is how Blue Sun's mercenaries characterize a planet that gave birth to their home office. This lush garden world is known for its heavy plant and fungal life, creating spectacular jungle zones over much of its eight continents. Despite persistent problems with rot and rust, Zoria attracts investors and corporations from all throughout the galaxy. All throughout the galaxy, since it has exploited only a fraction of its potential re resources, uh, since it has exploited only a fraction of its potential resources. The Blue Suns dominate security contracts on Zoria so much that residents describe them less like a monopoly and more like a conquering regime. Colony founded 2000, oh, 2160. Population is 148 million. Capital is Thun. Thun. Thun or Thun, either one. Orbital distance is 1.8 AU. Orbital period is 2.4 Earth years, radius is 6,247 kilometers, day length is 28.4 Earth hours, atmospheric pressure is 1.22 Earth atmospheres, surface temperature is 33 degrees Celsius, and surface gravity is 1.0 G. Perfect. Let's land. I will take Grunt. Maybe I should take someone else. Oh, I'll take Grunt. Actually, no, I'll take Morden. Level up that concussive shot. And for Morden, you don't get anything apparently. Mantis is the single fire one. I'll keep that. And probably keep the particle beam to be honest. Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. There is no map. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Okay, that didn't even kill it. Are they gonna come to life? Push ahead. This looks like a place we can have a shootout. I think a sniper rifle might be better here. Let's do that instead. Report to base. Armed intruders incoming at the surface. 
Oh crap. There we go. Got him. It's been a while since I've played a shooter, so I'm gonna be a bit rusty with the aiming. I missed. I missed again, my god. Okay, that dude just blew up. And that guy's actually just dead. Let's pick up that ammo and... Where are they? Oh, there he is. With warbling noises. Got you in the forehead. Okay, Zaid's not doing too well. Gotcha. Okay, that missed spectacularly. Control activate. This is Commander Santiago. If any of you retreat while the intruders are still alive, I'll kill you myself. Now get the hell back out there. Vito. Sounds like he hasn't changed. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. Oh, he, bl he founded the Blue Suns. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Oh, well. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? Goddamn. That. You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. That is true, I guess. We'd better get moving. They're at the southern axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Okay, let's see what's back here, in case I miss anything. Gonna have a quick squiz. And it doesn't look like anything here is miss... I've missed anything here. Oh, there we go. I did miss something, never mind. Could use a medijol, since um, I just got got rocked before probably by the um that heat seeking missile I assume it's heat seeking I actually don't know we can't walk off there unfortunately Squad Charlie Delta, mass of the gatehouse. 
some palladium, nice. Nothing over that way, I don't think. Looks like they're going to be just behind here, so let's go. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Gone nearsighted, old friend. Burn, you son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. Opening the gate. <laughs> I love Zaid. He's cool. For a 20 year time, he looks pretty young. I know, right? Dude's been like moisturizing every hour. Exfoliating every two. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I wanna know about it first. Vito was confident, had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. You don't make a move unless I know about it first. This is my mission. Remember that. I came here to kill Vito Santiago. If you want my help on your mission, you better make damn sure that man dies today. <laughs> if that's what you need. You want him dead, then he dies. I don't care what else happens, as long as Vito swallows a bullet. Alright, well, I guess he's dying. Uh. Ow. Yes, enjoy. Direct organ trauma. Okay. Bonsai rush. Help! We're trapped! We can't get to the gas valves to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. <laughs> I get why you want Vito dead, but is he really worth watching those people burn to death? I'm not sticking around to watch. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Zaid's right, Vito must die. I would feel really bad though. But Vito is kind of a jerk. Let's get moving before Vito gets away. Glad you see it my way. No! 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 Well, rip met a random gas engineer. I'll take you out with me. Oh my God. Oh. 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 Not for another bonsai run. Okay, that guy went down like a sack of shit. <laughs> Is there any ammo over here? It does not look like it. That's 
not jump into the the fire pit. That would be very unfortunate. No more ammo it looks like as well. That's uh not not good. What did I just see? Servos. Anything back here? Doesn't look like it. Shields very quickly. Firing an impact shot. Vito, stop hiding behind these men and come fight me. Watch your aim. <laughs> but he doesn't wanna. You're scary, Zade. Man, they're really not dropping any ammo. Are they like very underpaid or something? They have to make their own bullets or something like that? And some palladium. Palladium. This looks interesting. Why well, storm acquired? Now Shepard can use this. I'm guessing that's like a flamethrower. And <laughs> also, thank you so much for the raid, Nyux. Welcome, raiders. I'm Are You Okay? And I'm an artist who also streams games sometimes. Uh, right now, I'm playing Mass Effect 2. So um, if you haven't played this before, there will be some spoilers. Just be warned. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy your stay. And to anyone who doesn't know who Nyox is, he is a V streamer who regularly streams FF14. Um, it okay. appears that Sadie and. Uh, will you be raiding with um, Sadie later as well? If you're into F14, please by all means um, check him out. <laughs> Why'd people happy? Yeah, we raid tonight. Very nice. Yeah, so Nyux and um, Sadie, and I assume Lyft will be raiding tonight. Flamethrowers. I don't really. I'm not a big fan of flamethrowers, to be honest. Well, how's everyone's morning been so far, or night, depending on where you are? I'm going to choose the particle beam. Yep, I'll be there. Nice. Fun stuff. Very exciting. And yeah, Oceanic servers will be up tomorrow too, so I'm looking forward to that as well. I'll finally be able to like double weave and just play properly. I woke up in the middle of the night and I'm restless. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're able to get some sleep soon. I think we're going to try sleep soonish. No worries. That sounds like a good idea. Well, um, I guess try and do something to distract yourself until you're able to sleep and try not to think about it too much as well. That can make you frustrated sometimes, which might lead you to not being able to sleep as well. 
make the most out of it, I say. Back to my rifle. That is a very strange looking desk and that's a big knob. You're gonna need like crab claws to be able to like pinch that. Giant crab claws. Where am I? Um, so in about half an hour I'll be transitioning into a... an art stream. Alright. But first, these guys need to die. How do you have six people hold down one dude, shoot the dude in the face, and somehow still not kill him? Like, wouldn't you know that he's not dead yet? Or is he just really good at, like, playing dead? Okay. That is a robot. Okay, so that was just like spiraling. How do I shoot down, dude? Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, Nyx, how did your F14 session go? Uh, what were you doing? If you don't mind me asking. Holy crap. That doesn't look too good. like melted me got him okay looks like I'm supposed to go that way oh nope I meant to go straight ahead What's in here then? Some more industrial bits. Uh, I guess I go over there. I'll check these doors first. In case there's more like bits and stuff. 
more resources I can pick up. Doesn't look like it. Yep, nothing in here as well. Damn it. years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Saeed, please. I'm gonna die here, man. Do something. Try, you son of a bitch. Okay, all personnel lost. <laughs> With Vito and Santiago dead, Zay can focus his full attention on the mission. Alright. Do we have time for another mission? I think we do. Let's talk to Zaid first and see what he has to say about that mission. I think he was in cruise... Wait, no, he was in engineering. Oh yeah, it says right there. I don't know why I forgot about that. I don't remember which one he was on. I think it was port. Nope, apparently not. Starboard. Alright. What do you have to say? Did you have any mementos of, um... Vito? I already forgot his name. This mission takes me back. Hell of a mission down there on Zoria. I appreciate what you did down there. Might not seem like it, but you did the right thing. Killing Vito solves a lot of problems, and not just my own. I see. Well, that's good. I used to do a little scorched earth work here and there. Then the Batarians started muscling in. No one's as good with terror tactics as they are. I mean, the Krogans will come at you, break your face, kill your family. But the Batarians, they'll turn your planet into a glass parking lot without a second thought. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Alright, let's go. Look at those square shoulders. See you. Oh, okay. I guess he's found his mission, or his calling in life. Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? Why don't you refresh my memory? Personally, led a team, created new version of Genophage, released it onto Chanka, other colonies, re-stabilized Krogan population. Nice job. I could see why Cerberus brought you on board. Very difficult, yes. Complex work to stabilize population. Mistake could have wiped out species. Glad to see you understand. Had to be done. The Krogan would be a danger to the whole galaxy if the Genophage was cured. Exactly. Best solution for everyone, even Krogan. Can discuss more later. 
more pressing issue now. Blood Pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Oh. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. Okay. I don't want to do that. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Urtnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. No. Oh. That was very cute. We'll, we'll find him, don't worry. Still need to get to Tuchanka, Shepard. My students being held by Blood Pack. I'll talk to you later, Morton. We'll be here if you need me. Alright, let's see what upgrades I can do since I've got some platinum now. Not those, apparently. I need the heavy weapon ammo upgrade to upgrade that. That's what armor great upgrades I can do. Uh, shielding, yes. Unity restores squad members. Shields to full strength. That sounds very good. And weapon upgrades. We've got assault rifle damage. I think that's about it. Alright, I guess I'll do one more mission. And then no I'll finish it you, finish man. there. And transition into an art stream. Uh, I guess I'll go into my journal and see what we've got. I guess we can go and help Jacob's one. Or help Jacob out. Uh, let's just see where it was. Ten years ago, Jacob's father disappeared along with the Hugo Gernsback, the privately held frigate on which he served as first officer. Last week, the ship's beacon sent out a distress call reporting a crash on the planet Air. Air. And Jacob would like to investigate, so let's go to Air in the Alpha Draconis system. Located in the Rosetta Nebula. Okay, let's go to the mass relay and I'll refuel as well. Although since we're here, what's that? The MSV Rosalie. Uh, I'll work out later. It doesn't really affect me too much I guess at this point. I'll just refuel first and buy some probes. Looks like we're helping Jacobs at Rosetta Nebula right here. some more planets. Small, ah. Uh, Mizrim? Mizrim? Mizrim. A small gas giant, Mizrim is primarily hydrogen and methane around a rocky core. There is no remaining trace of civilization from Jacob, from Joab, Job. On Mizrim itself but debris orbiting the planet indicates that artificial satellites were once in place before being destroyed. Orbital distance is 1.2 AU. This looks really cool. I like it. Orbital period is 1.3 Earth years. Radius is 17,932 kilometers. And day length is 10.9 Earth hours. here. 
broke away. Probe launched. I don't see anything else here. Pretty much it. That planet is dry. Laban. Laban? Laban is a desert world with sea upon sea of scorching hot iron oxide wearing away marbleized cliffs. <laughs> its atmosphere is thick and laid with significant levels of oxygen trapped under a upper helium layer. Initially, surveyors detected traces of iridium from orbit only to find a surprising archaeological discovery. The iridium came from bunkers on the surface, blown apart by a dreadnought class weapon. Okay. The logical conclusion was that the civilization on Job had reached Laban and its outposts here were destroyed to make their extermination complete. Okay, that's pretty crazy. Orbital distance is 0.6 AU, orbital period is 0.5 Earth years, radius is 7,658 kilometers, day length is 24.3 Earth hours, atmospheric pressure is 14.91 Earth atmospheres, surface temperature is 384 degrees Celsius, that is a little bit toasty, surface gravity is 1.8 G. Lots of iridium here, so there we go. Straight up. Looks like it doesn't cap at 100k at least. Launching probe. Okay, now we can leave that one alone. Whoops. Didn't mean to go that far. Job. Oh, okay. Anomaly here. Job is a two-mooned habitable planet that is most well known for its mass extinction event. Thousands of years ago, Job was home to a primate-like space-faring civilization known as well as abundant flora and fauna. Damn. However, this can only be deduced from time capsules put into the ground well outside habitation centers. All cities and detectable dwellings were targeted in a massive orbital bombardment that turned them into vapor. vapor. <laughs> the resulting dust shroud killed all photosynthetic life and all fauna dependent on it. Today humans have colonized the planet and are rapidly introducing their own species, beginning with cyanobacteria and heterotrophic bacteria to bring a suitable level of oxygen and nitrogen for respiration. I'll probably botch those pronunciations, so please excuse me. Travel advisory, atmospheric pressure at sea level on Job is double that of Earth. Visitors with upper respiratory infections 
emphysema, cancer, or a history of thora thoracic thoracic surgery should consult their physician before landing on Job. Okay. Sounds like a label for medicine. Population is 21,553,000. Population was founded 2171. Capital was New Jericho. Orbital distance is 2.3 AU. Orbital period is 3.5 Earth years. Radius is 6,709 kilometers. Day length is 25.6 Earth hours. Pretty similar to ours. Uh, atmospheric pressure is 2.18 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature is 4 degrees 14 degrees Celsius. And surface gravity is 1.2 G. Mercenary activity detected on planet's surface. Communications match Blue Sun's encoding protocols. Possible location for rumored site of illegal archaeological activity. Blue Sun's intentions unknown. Let's go. Sorry, Jacob. I'm going to have to do this mission first. I guess I won't be doing his mission today. I'll be doing this instead. I'll end after this one. Man, I don't think I've taken Miranda on anything, ever. So let's go. Incinerate. Let's purchase that. Launches a volatile grenade that explodes on impact, sending fragments flying in all directions that cause extra damage. This fire damage is effective against armor. Or should I just get disruptor ammo? May as well. Extra attacks. Could be useful. Service leader, Miranda's coordination of the, te the fire team. Gives an increased bonus to squad weapon damage. And tactician, leadership tactics have uh, leave no one behind, giving an increased bonus to squad health. Also, welcome Komori Yokai. Or Kelvin, as you're known around these parts. Dual randomness is out, very nice. Um, if anyone's wondering what he's talking about, he's talking about the uh, mobile game Girls Frontline. It's a story event for that. And thanks for the heads up. I will check it out at some point. I haven't played Girls Frontline in ages though. I might do this one, more damage is always good. Ah, uh, this is the loyal thing. Um, is there anything special for that event out? I might save the points. Better run, mate. Oh, my God, why won't it peek from cover? Overloading their systems. 
Got him. Strained him out, quite literally. We need like piercing ammunition or something. Pretty cool. Alright, Bonsai rush time. There we go. Okay, it looks like the corners give a little bit of issues. I'll see if there's anything over here first. Let's have a look. Uh, so after this I'll be like, I'll actually end the stream and then restart it just so I can separate the VODs because I do want to keep like a record of my drawings. That's actually one of the reasons that I wanted to start streaming in the first place. So yeah. anything in here? It doesn't look like it. It's the toilet. Some credits, not bad. Oh my god, he like jitted. To the right. Ow. That's all they got. No ammo here, doesn't look like it. Well, the commander didn't even drop anything either. Okay, he dropped a PDA, it looks like. Yeah, that dude's pretty dead. The 
Lieutenant Locke, once the artifact is secured and in transit, your orders are to take your men and rendezvous with Captain Voris. 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 Voris aboard the MSV Strontium Mule in the uh, Aaron Larkin system in the Omega Nebula. Assist Voris with the capture if needed, Commander Santiago. Ruthian video log. I'm guessing that's the artifact. I wonder what this is. Insect dudes. <laughs> I'm terrible with names. The collectors, that's it. Recovered Prothean Relic. Eliminated Blue Sun's presence on Dig Side. That seems like a very interesting mission. I might um, start with that with the Commander, you've uh, beginning of the next your private terminal. mission. Uh, no, not next mission, me next stream, I should say. Let's have read the message to Blue Sun's activity traced from Service Command. We did a little due intelligence on this Lieutenant Locke and his rendezvous with Captain Voris. The coordinates we obtained as the last known location of MSV Strontium Mule have been added to your galaxy map. As it turns out that, oh, it turns out that the mule is carry, carrying valuable. It turns out that the mule is carrying valuable cargo, including intel of a sensitive nature. We'd like you to track down the strontium mule and recover that cargo. Please pass the information to us, and you can keep any other items of value you may find. Do what you will with the blue suns. Okay. So exterminate. Well, um, that takes us to the end of today's session of Mass Effect. It's just like a half stream length because I am doing a drawing stream now. So um, to everyone who has stopped by, thank you all so much for chatting. Uh, once again, thank you so much, Nyux, for the raid as well. And um, to yeah, everyone who's interested, please feel free to stick around and I'll start the art stream very soon. Um, otherwise, I hope you all have a lovely evening. And if you're, you're at the other side of the world, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care and 